Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Thanks for tuning in to the old subscribers. I'm at like almost 600 people. I started this like a month ago, so I think that's pretty good. I don't know. Um, I did everybody's February except for Leo, and I don't know why I always end up doing Leo last, but I feel bad. <laughs> for some reason, Leo, you're always at the last little one. I'm sorry. So I'm going to do yours now. So, Spirit of Angels, what are the messages for the sun of Leo for February 2018? Hope everyone's having a good night. I am chilling at home. I don't think I leave my house very much anymore. I used to be like out and about, but I live in a really small town and I don't even want to see these people. I have like four people I legitimately like, the rest of them meh. Like associates, people that. And then if you go to the bar, it's expensive and I don't know. Whatever, I'm chilling at home with my kids, doing my tarot shit, you know. I'm glad that I'm getting them done early, though, because to have February done this early is pretty good for me. I'm just saying. All right, Leo. Let's see what we got going on for February 2018. What does Leo need to know? What are the messages for the sign of Leo? What does Leo need to know? What do you want them to know? Well, some of you are going to have a new start. High Priestess, Judgment in Reverse, and the Empress. Okay, well, not too shabby. Nine of Wands is at the bottom of the deck, so I feel like you guys are trying to find your way to do something. There's some things you can't see, okay? This card has been said to mean a few things. For me, it's something you're not aware of, okay? Whether it's subconsciously, consciously, whatever. Sometimes people say you're in denial. Some people say someone's not speaking their truth. But I feel like it's really something that you just can't really see right now. Maybe you're not paying attention to it, but at the same time, you can't really see. Maybe that's why you're so confused about what you want to do. Three of Cups. So you have a community of supportive people, but you're not really sure what you want to do. Um, because you just walked away from somebody who was pretty abusive. And you're trying to recover from that damage that they did to you. And it was something that ended probably... Hits you pretty bad. It hits you pretty hard. And you're... It's like this girl's kind of like dead, but then there's these birds that are like carrying her off to try to try to bring her back to life. Maybe you're sleeping, <laughs> but I mean, this is about endings. Something ended. Then you have the four swords, so you're kind of resting. Well, maybe you are sleeping, kind of retreating, trying to get yourself together. I think that's basically what they're trying to say. Because you're dealing with someone who is really one-sided. And you're probably the one that took this hit when this was over. When the heartbreak and shit hit, it hit you. And not the other person. You took it all and you... So you might be feeling a little self-defensive. Or maybe you're feeling like, should I fight for this? But I don't know. I think you're just defending what's yours or defending yourself. Because you are are feeling regret like and loss and like people don't love you but there's three cups in here that well 
The Five of Cups is still a good thing. It's like you're in your feelings about the things that you lost, but you don't remember the things that you still have. There's a cup in the water that's gold, and it's unbreakable, and it's not going anywhere. The cup on the ground behind her feet has two fish in it that are alive. The cup that she's holding and looking down on it has a fish in it that's still alive. So you do have some things that you, uh, you know, maybe need to be thankful for that you're just not really seeing, you're not paying attention to right now. And you're speaking your truth wherever you go. The Queen of Swords is like a woman scorn, pretty much. She's not fucking playing with nobody right now. You got your guard up. And you're like, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, and fuck you, pretty much. But you're going to be releasing yourself from all the shit that you've had going on in your head. And you're going to break free of all this stuff that was going on before. You're breaking yourself out of this. You're getting out of your head. Because the person you're dealing with was a fucking asshole, okay? And they were... on purpose malicious to you and they probably did a lot of damage and they were not ready for a relationship but they were really mean to you and you were really oppressed by them but I don't think you spoke your truth to this person about it either way someone's not speaking their truth um so you feel like you're just gonna give up and you're like, I don't have any confidence in this anymore, and I just want to give up. I don't know what else to do anymore. Because you're kind of depressed, and you're just feeling like, well, fuck it, you know? Like, I'm not getting anything out of this. I don't feel happy, you know? The Five of Swords talks about um, peace after trouble. So someone got caught in some bullshit, you know, whatever it is. But this person is trying to make things right with you, but you're still at this depressed, disappointed, because you wanted this. You wanted the the new relationship, the proposal, the marriage, and instead, what'd you get? Depressed. Let down. Disappointed. Again. There's going to be a new recovery. There's recovery in this. There is hope. There is a new job. There's a new home that's coming. And the person you were dealing with... Didn't want to tell you that their big ass ego was hiding the fact that they um, are really emotionally unstable. They're wearing a mask. They are emotionally immature. They didn't know how to express their feelings and they probably took out every single fucking frustration ever in life on you. Because they're frustrated with themselves. That's how people are. So there was a false start. Something that started and ended really quickly. So you feel like you missed out. You're like, okay, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Because all you felt was delays and setbacks. These immature offers of love from people that are codependent and just breaking up to make up kind of thing. Let's go to the table, okay? You have new things coming in for you. Now, you do have the Eight of Wands in reverse. That's talking about the frustrations, the travel issues, the... Uh, the ways you've been feeling. Then you have the high priestess. Okay? So, there might have been no action taken, but at the same time, the high priestess is someone who doesn't speak. She pays attention. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Trust your intuition. Because someone is about to take the leap of faith with you. Are you going to catch them or are you going to be stuck in your feelings with the person that just hurt you? choices out it's pretty much yours but you need to pay attention it's pretty much what they're trying to tell you someone makes you happy you make someone happy maybe you just want this fucking feeling of marriage with children a happy family like you know the fish dancing around in a circle like to be loved and supported for what you are you want that but i feel like you have it with somebody or someone sees this in you but you're not able to see that right now the fact of the matter is you have the king and the queen of pentacles on the table right now. There is someone in your life. Okay? That makes you happy despite all the bullshit that you've been through. Okay? There was some shit that happened that wasn't there. Things weren't balanced. There was probably someone that lied. Um... 
someone made the wrong choice. Maybe it's you with the last, per with the person that did all this damage. There's rest and recovery and healing coming for you, okay? There is someone in your life that is empathetic and understanding, emotionally balanced. They're a good person. And I think you know that. This person wants a new start with you. There is going to be a new start. The fucking empress is here. She's all about abundance. For some people, that means they're fucking having a baby. But it's a new start. The Empress can manifest whatever she wants. She's at that level of herself where she's completely balanced. And she can make whatever the fuck she wants to happen. And it happens. She brings abundance wherever she goes. There's... Four major arcanas on the table, plus the king and queen of pentacles. Someone makes you happy, and they're a really good mom, and they're down to earth. Maybe you're going to have a baby. Maybe this means someone's having a baby. Maybe this is the mother of your child. Maybe this is your mother in general. I don't know. I feel like... Maybe you thought like in the past this is the person you made the wrong choice about, but I don't. I think they're still in your life. Pull yourself out of the grief and the nightmares and the anxiety. You're coming out of that now, okay? There's someone coming in that is emotionally balanced enough. And they're, um, they're understanding and they're empathetic to understand probably the shit that you've been through, okay? And there's going to be a new start that's coming with it. You've been through some shit, Leo, but it's getting better, okay? Just saying... Are you going to take it or not? Let's see advice for the sign of Leo for February 2018. <laughs> Someone does want to be at peace with you. Five of Swords in reverse came out again. Someone knows that they were caught for one, and two, <laughs> they want peace. Your advice is probably to make peace with this past situation so you can move on to this new situation that's actually going to make you happy, okay? Do you have a community of support around you? Maybe it's time to go and talk to them. Hang out with your friends. You have the strength card. You could be dealing with the Leo, but at the same time, the strength card talks about you having the strength to get through whatever you want to. Take control. Love yourself. Be confident. Because good things are coming. Because you did go through some shit, okay? But you do have good things. And the thing is, you can't bring old shit into new good shit. It'll ruin the new good shit. Because you're going to be stuck in that old mindset. You can't bring that. So you need to... If this person wants to make peace with you, you need to forgive them. Not for them, but for yourself. So then you can have these new things that want to come into your life. You know? You're kind of at that point where you need to make a choice. Let... Fucking don't worry. Be happy. You know? Stay strong because you're the one that's going to come out ahead of this and you have the tools to make be whatever you want to be. Make the choice. Be strong. You're the one that's going to claim the victory in this and you have the tools to manifest whatever the fuck it is you want to do in this, okay? If you don't want the new dude, whatever, but at the same time... You are the one that's going to come on ahead this time, not this other person. I hurt you. All right, have a good night.